Hi, this is Craig Barnes, Technical Marketing Engineer for Cisco Systems, and welcome to my short video on blocking hashes uh, with content filters or custom filters. Uh, this is a brand new ability in our Async OS 14.0 release, but not only can you block uh, file attachments using that MD5 or SHA-256 value, which you have had the ability to do before, uh, using Cisco Email Security Appliance, but now we can actually take uh, custom actions based uh, on your hash list, and I'll show you that in a little bit in our demonstration. You still can use AMP Unity to block hashes everywhere you want to, uh, consistently across the Cisco portfolio, but this gives us an easy way to set logging to track current events. Um, it can be used in a content filter or a message filter and uh, lastly, there is also a new action uh, related to those content filters where we can uh, strip files uh, that is available as well that I will show you. So as you can see here, I've gone to the Cisco Talos website uh, and I checked what the latest weekly threat roundup was. Um, so as usual, you know, we have more uh, Trojan campaigns out there. Uh, Talos is constantly uh, keeping up with the latest activities and they publish the indications of compromise as well so in this use case uh, you know my boss has come to me uh, said that he read an article uh, about what was going on in this threat sector it was relevant to us so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna copy and paste these file hashes and then we're gonna go log into our email security appliances and see uh, if they are relevant to us so I will say if I was doing active threat hunting, I would actually use uh, SecureX threat response. But in this case, my boss came to me, um, you know, and he was kind of looking what our tools were doing. So I thought I'd show him the value of what we were actually blocking, uh, utilizing Talos and utilizing Cisco Secure Email. So as you can see here, I can create a file hash list. That's where I am. I'm going to add this file hash list. I have uh, already went and copied uh, from that Cisco Talos blog. I'm going to say, hey, this is a SHA-256. I'm going to say it's from a Talos update. A Talos update and uh, weekly threat roundup for my description. And I'm going to go ahead and submit this. And obviously, uh, we need to go ahead and commit our changes as well. But first, let's create our incoming uh, content filter because this is, uh, in reality, what is actually new. Um, and hopefully while you're watching this video uh, to see how these things are done and, and all the innovation that we're doing uh, with Cisco's Cure Email. Uh, so I'm going to give us the name of Talos Update. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add condition. What we need to add is attachment file info what is new is this file hash list, right? Um, I want to make sure that I select the appropriate one, which is our Talos update. I'm going to hit OK. So now if any of these messages from Talos or any of these hashes from that uh, Talos blog is caught, um, you know, we will be made aware. We're going to add uh, an action. And then in this case, uh, I just want to add a login. Now, for this example to be effective, we'd have to use message filters, which is available to us, but it's command line only. Uh, we are getting a revamped user experience, which will include uh, message filters in the UX. Uh, but for now, uh, we're just keeping with this example so I can show you uh, what is the latest and the greatest. And with that, that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed this video on Cisco Secure Email. Have a great day.